For more on smart roadways and technology in China, we're joined by Sky Yin. She's a writer, creative director at Zoka Strategic Marketing and former editor-in-chief for That's PRD magazine in Shenzhen. Thanks for joining us. So, Sky, how is China turning to smart technology to be more competitive globally? To be more competitive globally, um, I think that China has basically realized that they need to embrace smart technology. Because, I'm, I mean, I'm sure you're familiar with the labor issues as labor costs rise. You need to increase efficiency. Um, and smart to do that. Sky, if you're with me and you could hear me, which industries have thrived with smart technology? Um, I think it's a bit too early to use the word thrive, because at this point it's a lot of investment in setting up. And after all, the goal is 2025, China 2025. Um, the industries that have gotten investment are obviously manufacturing, virtual reality, uh, augmented reality, uh, things like that, a lot of security industries also. We saw how roads are one example of, of using smart technology. What are some other ways smart technology is being integrated with AI and VR, virtual reality? Well, uh, Maybe not VR so much, but augmented reality, where you can actually see the your surroundings. The when that would be used is probably a factory, when you'd be able to get readouts of certain machines simply by looking at them, and obviously that would increase the efficiency of the factory. So you're there in Shenzhen, the hub of innovation there in China. What are you seeing on the horizon that is exciting you the most? What am I seeing that's exciting me the most? I would definitely say augmented reality is the most exciting at this point. Um, I know that there was a huge push into virtual reality as far as a $10 billion fund, but I feel that that's shifting to augmented reality, which I believe is what's actually going to be the big game changer overall. All right, Sky Gij in Shenzhen, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate your time.